Hey everybody, it's Mike. Part time resawing in the Pittsburgh area. Hey, uh, just okay. I love Daffy Duck. Okay. Hi everybody, it's Mike. Part time reselling in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, we went to an estate sale uh, over the weekend last weekend, and I thought I'd show you some things that I picked up, and hopefully we'll resell. Uh, usual uh, disclaimers, notes off to the side, so I'll be looking over there. The um, prices that I hope to get doesn't mean that I am going to get it. I hope to get it. They may never sell. Who knows? And the prices are the uh, sales on eBay for the last 90 days. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, these uh, Sony premium cassettes, uh, DVC video cassettes, three of them still sealed. Whoa. Um, these were a uh, dollar each. They had good prices at this estate sale. They were willing to uh, to work if you group stuff together. That's that's always good. Uh, so three dollars for those. I hope to get around fifteen dollars total out of that. Okay, this uh, uh, I know I keep saying. Don't buy DVDs. And then you watch my videos and like, look, I bought a DVD. Um, this is uh, <laughs> Making of a Legend, Gone with the Wind, DVD, still sealed and everything. And uh, like I said, don't buy DVDs unless you can find sealed ones and you look them up and you can see if they actually sell. This was uh, $3. Now, I just said that they had good uh, prices, but they did not have good prices on their DVDs. Uh, all the DVDs were three dollars, whether they were sealed or not. And that's that's a little pricey. They should go for a dollar, but this one should go for around seventeen dollars. I was surprised and glad that I looked it up, so I was okay to pay three dollars if that means they'll sell for uh, seventeen dollars. Uh, this was actually I had bought a um, a spindle of uh, blank DVDs. Uh, recordable DVDs, and this was in there. I did not know this. I'm putting this down. It's costing me a dollar. It's uh, a, a Nintendo uh, Wi-Fi USB connector. This is the, the disc. There's actually another part to it. If you can find the disc and this actual other part, then uh, then you're, you're in pretty good shape. But this was just the disc. I think I can get around uh, $10 for it. So that was kind of a surprise that it was uh, in there. Um, this was kind of a kind of a a, a strange house. Um, uh, they had a, a lot of uh, VHS tapes, and again, VHS tapes usually not very good unless you can find some sealed ones and some older ones. This uh, uh, Prince Caspian VHS still sealed. This was a dollar, and I might be able to get like eight dollars out of it. It's not a huge thing, but uh, turn a dollar into eight dollars. That is uh, okay with me. This next one I might actually have a little trouble with. It is uh, SodaStream uh, uh, CO2 refill thing. So it, you know, the, the SodaStream makes the soda. Okay, that's enough. Um, this was a dollar, and I might be able to get $19 out of it uh, if I can ship it. Uh -huh. Okay, it's got, of course, it's got the warnings. Oh, it might explode. Okay. <laughs> no big deal. So usually when you have something like that, they just, they don't want you to uh, send it like priority where it's going to go on an airplane. They don't want something on an airplane that's going to explode. That kind of makes sense. So I figured, well, it has to go ground. That's no big deal. I usually use the U U USPS select ground anyway. A lot of people choose that because it's cheaper. Um, so I was at the post office and I said, I have this SodaStream CO2 tube. I assume that has to go ground. And the uh, clerk I was uh, talking to was like, um, I, I don't know. So the, that's the other clerk. The other clerk's like, I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. What is it again? So I tried to explain it's a CO2 tube. And I just assumed it has to go ground. And she's like, well, check the website. Uh, you know what? It might be actually FedEx or UPS might be better because I guess they have laxer rules. I don't know. But she's like, check the website. The uh, USPS website is not a very good website. It is very hard to find information on. I really couldn't find a definitive answer. Can I ship CO2 through the USPS? Uh, United States Postal Union. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is uh, on my journeys out there, I don't, I don't like using FedEx. I've had uh, a couple of things that have been damaged in shipping, and it's always FedEx. So I stopped using them. So next time I'm out, I'm going to stop at the uh, 
UPS store and uh, ask them. That was a long, that was a long story to, to say, I'm going to try to sell it. Okay. Uh, also at this estate sale, they had a lot of uh, uh, things like um, uh, audio cables and things like that in bags, which was a very nice presentation. They were $5 a bag. They had a bag of remotes. I had reached in and uh, got this one. Now I have said before, remotes usually aren't very good, but you can find uh, good ones. This one was in there and I went to the guy and I said, is the bag $5 or are the remotes $5 each? He says, no, the, the whole bag is $5. So there were five of them in there. So I got this for a dollar and I'm hoping to sell it for around $21 or so. It's a big one, so I'm not going to put it in a padded envelope. I'm actually going to put it in a smaller box. Um, so that might I have to, might have to lower the price because if somebody pays for shipping, it's going to cost more than just a padded envelope. Uh, there was another um, Sony one in there, which I might get like $6 out of it. We're going to give that a whirl. Um, uh, this was a... a on, on Koyo? I, I don't know. But this is the same brand. This is, they're usually good electronics to get if you can find them. They, they're usually okay. So I was excited that there was another remote from that brand in there. Maybe get $15 out of this, but it doesn't work. Um, if you're wondering how to test um, remotes, uh, check out the video in the corner there. I show you how you can test remotes without having to have every major brand of electronics in your house. It's very simple and it does come in handy to test a remote so you know that you can say it's tested and it works. Um, yeah, so that's it. So I'll do what, what a lot of resellers do. So I spent uh, $10 and I hope to make uh, 6.3 million off of that. So that'll be good. Um, all right, that's it. Thanks, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. Uh, and I will talk to you later. Bye.